How do the best cards pre workout? Um, for me, oatmeal. I think uh, oatmeal is one of the great ones. The, the, my favorite thing about squats is that when you put the bar on your back and you, and you move through the movement, you are awake. Well, it's, it's a combination of both of those things because of the fact that um, it's going to be a longer period of time, right? Jeffrey, do you got anything good for this? What are your favorite ab exercises? Uh, hanging leg raises, number one, um, basic crunches and then crunches with the legs up. Those are my favorite and, and a Roman the, chair. What is it about the hanging that you like so much? The hanging be number one, yeah, I, that's, that's a big spot. The, the, my favorite thing about squats is that when you put the bar on your back and you, and you move through the movement, you are awake. Yeah, you it are. wakes you up. You're not going in and doing a little cable curl and still a little sleep you are woken up the something turns on in your body that nervous system with the weight on your back the hips same thing for me on hanging leg raises when i get on that hanging leg raises and the body stretches and i gotta rotate those big ass legs of mine up i get done with that and i'm just like i'm so open and, and it's like oh that feels good in the body and the abs and i feel it nice lower back contraction the abs the hips it's it's alive for me. And then just any time, like any exercise, if you can find exercise like this behind the neck shoulder press, same thing, awake. And I mean awake in the sense of not the whole body from the inside out is awake. Um, so I can find those exercises on every body part. Drew definitely has a very good story to him. Inspiration. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> we got a little Titan gear on right here. You guys see the, uh, the skeleton right there? Yeah, Ready for Halloween. That exact shirt in the, the video we did on YouTube. You were wearing the red one, the light red one. Ah, uh, yeah. Like they love that. Yeah. We're going to see if we can get some more in. I know we sold out of these a while back. We'll try to get some more of these bad boys in there. Do, do you fear slash feel sad getting older? Uh, no, that's life. Yeah, you can't. You, you kind of have to. It's uh, there was a quote, and I don't know if it was Clint Eastwood or somebody, and they said you had to be strong to get old because not everybody, uh, not everybody gets old. Um, the reality of that is people die young, um, but it's a privilege. So you got to be able to enjoy it and fight against it. Like he said some stuff, and then I got a video coming out with Clark Bartram who would be the pinnacle of the statement of continuing to battle and get into those fights when life tries to throw you a wrench and tries to mess you up a curveball. So uh, enjoy it. Next. I know it's a guy who is tall. So you guys were talking about him being over six. Suits a guy who has tall bodybuilding does. I would say it looks all of them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, tall guys that are muscular looks good. Is that what he means? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's always great to see a guy that's you know like Aaron Reed is a friend of ours who's six seven and jacked. You guys would have saw him in a Reynolds Rhino Ryan Reynolds movie where he played. Uh, the twin or the computer animation of Ryan Reynolds and you just see him on screen and I'm like, this guy is a monster and we'll get him on here too. Cause he's actually very, very bright when it comes to uh, nutrition training um, life. Uh, what are the best cards pre-workout? Um, for me, oatmeal. I think uh, oatmeal is one of the great ones. That way it sits in there as I continue to work out for an hour, kind of sits on my body. I like I like feeling heavy. And so a lot of people talk about how they like training, but they don't want something heavy on them. I am the opposite. I would like something heavy. But oatmeal doesn't really make you feel heavy. But that being said, yeah, I, think, the I think the steak and potatoes would be feeling uh, what, heavy. What is that feeling? I think it's, it's the – it's slow glycemic, so it's a slower digestion. And so you're feeling that relative to the, okay, the food's in my system. It's high glycemic. It's in there. It's done. It's right. moving through. 
Like, do you recommend a fast cut or a slow, gradual cut for an overweight person? Oh, well, it's it's a combination of both of those things because of the fact that um, it's going to be a longer period of time, right? But I would rather you still take chunks of time. I'd I'd like if you want to diet hard for six weeks, go for it. Then come back and just stay at a surplus of calories or at least a maintenance calories, and then go back into going hardcore again. I don't want you to um, push it hard for 12 months. That's what I don't want you to do. So I would take breaks. And either of those breaks are fine. Um, mostly if you're overweight, you know, there's a blitz. The blitz two is coming out. Maybe that's something you want to do and, and drop, you know, depending on how heavy you are. I've seen people drop 40, 50 pounds over the oh, 30 yeah. days. Let the body release the weight. That's the main thing. When you're doing it right, the body will release the weight it wants to release. Your opinion on all the baby don't hurt me memes. So fun. Absolutely entertaining. Titan took care of me, picked up some B12 and TRT. Very nice people over there. Oh, great. Love that. Love that. Tell me how you like the injectable B12. Well, that's not us, is it? Jeez Louise. Hold on one second, guys. Keep asking questions. I'll be right back. Jeffrey, you take one sec? Yep. Bring these questions in, guys. Look at you guys load it up. Where's <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. This is a good question for Mike. Being heavy for me tells me I can go till I'm empty and I can eat, roll a J, <laughs> and relax. <laughs> Maybe play my didgeridoo. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's one minute away. Yeah. Okay. She's on her way. She's like one minute away. Okay. The baby don't shirt shirt. Means are funny as fuck. When wearing the shirt of responsibility, you gave the strength to ten men who have the strength of ten men. UK, I think Mike's got something coming up soon for UK. Hey Jeff, you can come alive. And thanks for all the questions, guys. Hit this link, and we will see you next time.